According to the United Nations Children and Educational Fund, UNICEF, there are over 10 million out-of-school children in Nigeria, with 60% of these children living in northern Nigeria. To reverse this trend, traditional rulers from the 19 northern states of the country, in conjunction with UNICEF, have organized this conference in Kaduna, northwest Nigeria. In attendance are representatives of state and federal government, international agencies, school children and religious bodies, among others. Expressing concerns over the development, the Sultan of Sokoto Saad Abubakar says the situation must be corrected before it's too late. What explanation can we give to my Ume Jilmi and Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Mani of Kadiam Bono, who brought literacy and learning to this part of the world over 1,000 years ago? Our fathers and grandfathers have also contributed their quota in building Nigeria's current conventional educational system. And we have to we have and we have no hesitation to work together with other stakeholders at all levels to begin to address the major challenges facing the system, including the current problem of out of school children. In her speech, the UNICEF country representative in Nigeria believes basic education must be made compulsory if the trend is to be addressed. There is a way to break this trap. The international evidence is absolutely clear that this vicious cycle can be broken by ensuring that all children, especially and including girls, receive basic education. It's a challenge policymakers in the region appear ready to tackle head on. My candid opinion that when we do not can adequately address these educational challenges and the people to lead the process are here. The Kaduna State Executive Council had constituted a task team on continuing education plans, strategies and programs which comprised of four commissioners. The team had prepared a draft report which will soon be concluded for a white paper to be written for implementation to address the issue of out-of-school children. The highlight of the event is the story of the schoolgirl, Tabitha Emmanuel. I was once like many other girls and boys who are out of school. There was a time in my village when Boko Haram sent a letter saying, no girl should be seen in school. They came and burned down the school in my village. Life became difficult as I was faced with a very bleak future. Turned out, I was lucky to be given a chance to go back to school when schools were reopening Baruna State. Government at all levels may have to treat recommendations preferred at this gathering with the seriousness it deserves so that millions of school children like Tabitha across the country can return to the classrooms.